Today, friends, we're going to make a super fast storage tray using Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. So, of course, step one is to measure. This is 14 centimeters by 54 millimeters, and it's 35 millimeters high. So with those dimensions, let's get building. Of course, we're going to build in Tinkercad, and we're going to create a brand new 3D design. We're going to build this with the cube, and I do want to emphasize we're going to type in the parameters. Let me show you why. If we put a 3 here, notice it gives us that awesome radius. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to show you that if you stretch that with a handle, you just broke that radius. So we're going to stay with typed measurements. Remember that length was 140, the width was 54, and the height was 35 and press enter. I want to cut out the inside, so I'm going to do control D, make the second one a hole, and let's take away two from each of these. So 138, instead of 54, it'll be 52. I am going to make the height higher. I'm going to change this to 40, and then I'm going to click on that and do control up to raise it two millimeters up. So that was two control up clicks. Select it all, do L for a line, make the red one the boss, make sure it's middle, middle, and leave the height alone. Friends, when we do control G to group, bingo, tray is built. I am just going to cruise a cube on front, and then just like before, I'm going to type these numbers. I'm going to make my radius 3 again. I'm going to set the length of this to 10, so it'll poke out 10 millimeters. I might adjust that in a moment. I'm going to make the width 35, and I'm only going to make it 3 millimeters thick. Now, this is not oriented the same way for me because it's using this live work plane. So let's quickly adjust this. The width is good, but I want the length to be the 3, and I want the height to be the 10 because of the way it's sitting on this design. Because I'm choosing to 3D print this, I'm going to orient it different than the original. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is do L for a line, and I'm going to put it in the center and the center. And then I'm going to just twist it a few degrees. Let's go 15. It'll more likely print well. And then I'm going to nudge it in one millimeter, so I'm sure it's attached. Let's quickly put our file name in here. I'm going to call this storage tray. And now I'm going to grab the two parts. Notice we do not have to group them. We can simply hit export as an STL and save it for 3D printing. Of course, friends, now we can bounce to Bamboo Studio and I'm going to choose create a brand new project. Now I just added some different filament. I need to go out here to A4 where I put it. It is a generic PETG. And it is clear, so I'm going to put in a gray, and I'm going to confirm it. Now we can return to the Prepare tab, and let's add that storage tray. I'm going to resync the filament, and then I want to switch to that generic PETG. Right-click, and bingo. Let's slice it, and notice letting me know the handle is floating. I'm going to quickly enable supports, and let's re-slice. Notice it's just going to put those underneath there, and let's hit print plate. Notice it's going to take an hour and seven minutes, and let's send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, it bounces to the device menu. We just need to wait for it to download. Once it finishes downloading, we can hit play and monitor everything from afar. And a little over an hour later, check it out. We've got a storage tray. Quickly peeling off those supports. That was easy peasy. Could have made this probably a little sturdier, although it is going to work. And let's slide it into place. How cool is that? Even catches on the latch. Of course, we can fiddle with it and make it however we want since we are in control, but I'm going to call that a success. Now, you may note I did not add dividers. That's because on all of my trays, I have not used them. If you wanted dividers, of course, you can follow the exact same steps to bring them out. I'll still make them rounded just because that's how the project is. 
since it is on this work plane, there is my length. We already know this measurement is 54, and it'll go right into the edges. And that height was 35, so if I made this something like 33, it'd be a little bit below. And you could put these wherever you wanted. Notice they poke out a little bit, so we're just going to change those to 53 and 53. Once again, select it all, do your L for a line, and we want to make sure they're in the center, which they were. Notice that time they line up that way fine, we do need to raise them up. Control up arrow, and they're not poking out there either. Now, if you prefer the adjustable groove system, you could just take one of these and instead of making it 54, make it something like 3. And then you would want to line it up with the wall on both sides. So whichever way you want to build these, you can. It does take two of these. There's my control D. Nudge it so there's the correct gap. And you would print these separate and just use them with the grooves. Whichever strategy you prefer, you can use. I do want to remind your friends, when you're done with your design, you can click right here to go back to the Tinkercad desktop. Your project is at that time saved. You can then click on it and change its properties, give it a better name, add more details, give it a tag. Remember, if you put HLMT23, I check that tag every day, and of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, make it public and then choose your license. You can share it with the world and let them play with it, or you can share it with the world, but they're not allowed to copy and tinker. When you're done, hit save changes. Friends, as soon as you've done that, if you click back on the gallery, the first thing you'll see are the awesome staff picks. Don't forget when you click on these, it is super cool if you take a moment to give users a reaction. If you want to see all of the designs someone has made public, you can simply click on their username. What I want to show you today, though, is if you shut off staff picks, click the larger grid, and after just a moment, check it out. There is our storage tray. Friends, it's so fun to check these out. There are so many awesome projects. Friends, it only takes a moment, and you never know just whose day you might be making. Absolutely love it. As you can see, gave that an awesome. As I wrap up, friends, I do want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. Don't forget you can check the links in the descriptions to learn more. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time you click that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Finally, friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.